let's go. I'm so intimidated by your skills. Why? I'm flustered. You're crazy. Hey everybody, this is TJ Cage with Nashville Entertainment <laughs> Weekly. We're at the Nashville Film Festival brought to you by Talkopolis. We have Steven and Kelly. What's going on? I didn't know you're a filmmaker now. And I didn't know you were a director. I'm coming back to you. Isn't that crazy? So um, this is our very first time being in the Nashville Film Festival and having a film that we produced. So I produced. Yes, I'm usually on the other side or doing what you do. I usually do this and like ask questions, yeah. right? No. I don't really know if I can talk about my film right now. That We're still going through negotiations. That right. was my gag. I was going to take the microphone and start interviewing him. No, it doesn't happen that way. So we produced a film. It's called Nashville in Harmony. And this is a documentary about the first LGBT and straight allies chorus in Nashville and their journey that they've had for the past 10 years. And now they grew from 18 members to 140 members ish, now, ish, 140 ish. members. They've sold out the Ryman twice. They've played with the Skirmerhorn Symphony. They're incredible. And it's just a story of all of their members. So it's kind of amazing. I'm excited. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, Stephen, I met you. We were at a Burlesque Up Broadway down at the Anthem one night, and we were hanging out. We have a cool picture together, and now we're together. Let's talk about what you've going on as a director. So, obviously, we have this project here at the Nashville Film Festival. We're super excited and stoked that it's here. Um, I'm finishing up a documentary right now feature. Uh, it's anti-bullying. That's going to be coming out uh, probably mid midsummer this year. We're going to try and take that to Filmcom. And then on top of that, I still have all of my client work that I do. I've been doing some work with the Entrepreneur Center. I've been doing some work with the Chamber of Commerce. And um, yeah, so we're just going to uh, take this project, National Harmony, and just kind of keep on marching it out there into the world, going to some other film festivals, and just seeing how far we can get. We had a great conversation with Kelly Frey after the screening over here. Yeah. Different Kelly. <clears throat> He's way more powerful than I am. Kelly came up to us after, after the screening and said, excellent work, great production value. And we were just so excited to be able to meet him and, and be on his radar. And, just, we're, it's a pleasure to be here. I'm a Nashvillian. It's super exciting to have the, uh, the premiere of my first documentary short at the Nashville Film Festival. Dude, I'm so proud of both of y'all. Okay, it's hashtag love is love. love is love. How else can they find you? They can find me, um, if you would like to look me up, it's kellysutton.net. That's the easiest way to find me and everything that I'm doing. My company is Firefly Media, and we produce incredible video content all over the place, including Zeus TV and Country Outfitter. And I usually talk to big country stars, but this was way more fun. Well, now you're talking to us. Okay. Thanks, Kelly and Stephen, for coming in. It was great to see you. We just popped in. I didn't know you're a director, and I didn't know you're a producer now. Okay. What happens in one year? This is great. Okay, thanks for tuning in. We're going to get more people on the red carpet. All right, here we are still talking about the film, and Stephen brought his friend in, Don. Tell me your last name. Schlosser. Don Schlosser. Great name. What kind of name is that? German. It means locksmith. It means locksmith? Yeah, in German. That's great, man. Yeah. All right, tell us what you're doing on the film. I'm the artistic director of the chorus, and the story is about the chorus and how they've grown over the last 10 years. So I'm the artistic director that directs the chorus. Yeah, so the screen time in there as the directing, directing the choir. Yeah, yeah, like the little yeah I'm, I'm the conductor, yeah. I'm, I have a jazz singer that teaches at Belmont, and she taught me what that means. Oh, yeah. I, never, I just thought it was just playing around, keeping them busy, but it's something. It's no, there, it really does have something to do. <laughs> yeah, it's important stuff. Okay, now, how did you find, how'd you find Don? So I was introduced to National Harmony about three years ago. We did a really cool small video for the White House Champions for Change video. And you know when they contacted me about uh, a year and a half ago to do like a little 10 year retrospective, I said, we have such a great story here. You all have such a great story that we need to expand this to something a little bit bigger, maybe 30 minutes instead of 15. And it just kind of grew and grew. Their ambition in their music to make music without words and without um, uh, music in front of them. That's the reason why we did this is because they're so ambitious artistically that we wanted to make something bigger than what we had originally. So Don, what's your background? Where did all this come from? Well, I was in the ministry originally and uh, conducted church choirs. I was trained as a uh, concert pianist and as a uh, uh, choir director and was in church choir for a while and then got booted out of the church and got booted out of the music publishing industry. Well, I kind of came out of the closet. Okay. So that got me out of the Christian music industry. And uh, so I had the opportunity then to work with this group and to help them and to start a, a gay and lesbian chorus in Nashville. And now it's grown from 19 people to uh, like 130. Now it's a big deal. Now do you go to church? Do you live in Nashville? Yes. Go to, go to church here in Lyme. Where do you go? I go to Glendale Baptist Church. We call it Glendale Not That Kind of Baptist Church. I've actually heard somebody speak of this church, and it sounds like a great church. Yeah. I actually have. It's very open, very affirming, very welcoming. Yeah, it's a great that's, church. Yeah, that's the way it should be. Yeah, exactly. All right, now this film, how excited are you be, to be part of it? And your whole life's work is getting to be seen on film. Yeah, this is amazing because we, 
first of all, to have the opportunity to get to do what we do. I feel like I'm changing the world and I'm getting to be creative and I'm, and I'm doing so great s stuff. But then to have the opportunity to have that kind of exposure here at the festival and have people recognize that and affirm that and say, in the Bible Belt in Nashville, we have this kind of activity going on and we affirm that as part of our community. That's awesome. It's, it's breathtaking. We never dreamed. Never dreamed we'd have this kind of opportunity. You never know what's going to happen in a year's time. Steve's got something to say. Let's see what he's got. They have worked so hard to have such great artistic excellence in their organization. That was one of the main things for me that drew me to them. Not just the mission, but their artistic excellence and their That's commitment good. to it. Can't wait to see you, man. Good. All right, it was Thanks. an honor meeting you. Appreciate Steve, it. we never knew where we'd be Thank months you. ago. Great to meet you, Don. Congratulations. Thank you. CJ. All right, let's talk about what happened since Saturday. Was it Saturday I saw you? Wait a minute, I'm oh, doing yeah, that I'm thing. Doing Wait a minute, I'm make, doing that make thing. Make sure people know who you are. I'm doing that thing. Yeah, I gotta do the intro. Come on through. It's okay. Hi, this is Jill Sanabanez, and we are back at the Nashville Film Festival. I am with Nashville Entertainment Weekly and Talkopolis, and who do we have here today? Hello, I'm Stephen Knapper of the Nashville and Harmony Documentary Short. Awesome, and you have a quick recap for us, you said? You know, it's been a really exciting week here at the Nashville Film Festival. We're excited to announce that the Nashville and Harmony film was a nominee for the Tennessee Audience Horizon Award. It's one of six. There's going to be a special screening tomorrow night, Thursday, April 23rd at 6 p.m., and it's going to be really cool. It's a live audience vote, so we want you out here. We want you to make sure you see the film along with the other nominees and just, uh, you know, vote how your heart tells you to vote. That's exciting, and you just told me that there is a fan Facebook page with a new clip of it on there, right? Hang on, you gotta get TJ in here. T uh, okay. TJ, what's the, what's just the TJ's going to ask a question. Thing turned around after you did the interview with us. I just want you to know that. That's when your life changed. It's where it started. If you want to have your life changed, go to Nashville Entertainment Weekly and get on our show. I my life has changed. Great, for the better. Did you want to ask some questions? Okay, okay. Well, I have one more question. So you said that you have a new clip on the website? Yes, you know, we just put up the trailer for the film, so if you're interested about seeing it, aw, TJ's so sweet. If you're interested in seeing the film, you can check out the trailer. Check out the Facebook page, nih10.com. That's the number 10. Oh, cool. Thank you. Cool. Thank you very much. Imagine 120 voices all singing for a common cause. A common goal. For social change. To create a conversation. That crosses boundaries and creates community. That is Nashville in harmony. Let's stand, let's sing, let's change the world. Using music to build community and create social change. All three of those equally important, and we figured that out early on. Our product is community. That very first concert, it went over really well. I mean, it was, it was the beginning. It, it was magical. People caught the vision. The community has caught the vision. When I first came into Nashville in Harmony, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. What I experienced was an incredible outpouring of love and support. I wasn't alone anymore. To feel proud of who I am, to stand up there and, and not hide behind someone's back when they announce that we are a GLBT group. So I have a family that allows me to be who I am and doesn't judge me for it. Being so strongly bonded together helps us remove labels. It gave me a voice again. It let me sing with people that enjoyed me. During my worst moment, they let me know that I was still loved. I am forever changed. You don't have to be gay to value family. And Nashville and Harmony has become a family away from home for me. One word to describe Nashville and Harmony is community. Life-changing. Family. Fulfilling. Happy. Sensational. Cherished. Joy. Amazing. Excitement. Fabuloscopic. Magnetic. Vibrant. Fulfilling. It's transformative. Love. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed people can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. Your 
your swagger. No, he ain't got that little clip in his chin. He ain't no way better. Cause you're the baddest country boy, sweet to see. He ain't got my soft lips on him every morning anymore. He's only got a man.